the Devlin Fieldhouse on the campus of Tulane University in New Orleans, we welcome you to UConn women's basketball on SNY, the top-ranked and undefeated Huskies with an American matchup against the Tulane Green Wave. Eric Bruton, Norton Jones, and John Capolino are officiating crew, and it is my pleasure to say I've never been happier to watch an opening tip than this moment. It's a team that's fourth in the conference in threes made, 33% efficiency. Williams to Samuelson, nice finish by Katie Lou. A training stamp will come out. It's Wyatt who goes down. Oh, it looked like her right leg buckled. Right in front of the Connecticut bench. Oh, yeah. Looks like she hyperextended that right knee. Whoa. Samuelson. Collier to give her that shot, she'll take it. And most likely she'll make it. Chong, wide open three. Rebound for Collier, who goes right back to the basket with it, gets the contact. Count it and foul. Aggressive hustle on the offensive boards. You can see those blue jerseys all over the place. Tulane not boxing out. Collier again finding herself in the right place at the right time and finds a way to get, get fouled while scoring once again points and Williams makes sure there's not a second chance. Collier, what's the call? Blocking foul. Boy, that's a dicey moment there for Connecticut. Collier playing with the two fouls, but it will be a call against Tulane. All right, you can exhale a little bit because we've got a timeout here with 422 to go in the first quarter. Moore Paul picks up the foul. Giver of Tulane after the 10-0 run to start for Connecticut. Collier stayed out there with the two fouls. Chong will try a three and make it. Dangerfield. Butler finds a cutting Collier who can't score, but there's Williams on the offensive glass to put it in for two. Who on the shot clock? Harding can't get it, and Irwin rips down the rebound. Great position in there by Irwin. Good feed by Samuelson to Collier for two more. Collier knocking down the three-pointer. 15 points for Nafisa. Forever since UConn has scored. They've gone seven minutes. And Dangerfield's going to launch a deep, deep, deep three and make it. And a turnover. Williams had it knocked out of her hands, but Dangerfield's right there to pick it up. Chong sets her feet and makes a three. Chong to Collier. Nafisa. Two more. She's over the 20-point mark for the 14th time this year. Collier may have gotten bumped. They play on. Chong is wide open. Chong saves it to Samuelson, who buries the three-pointer. Something like that. But we just, every time we turned this street corner, it was closed. And maybe the officials are trying to find out ways <laughs> to get to the hotel after the game. There is Samuelson draining the three-pointer, screaming as she turns around down the court. Eight-point game. Williams will shoot and make it. UConn's been without Nafisa Collier since she went out with 521 to go in the third quarter. She has four personal fouls. Samuelson forces it up and in for two. And she was trying to say, I got fouled, too. Fouls called on the greenway. Smart play by Katie Lou. Now, see, she was thinking she was going to get fouled. She can go up better than that. Gabby Williams reverses to quiet the crowd. Seven points now for Gabby. This building is so loud right now. Collier for Williams. Eight on the shot clock. Gabby for two more. Williams will try the jumper. Collier with a putback for two. Another big play for Nafisa Collier. Fieldhouse. The Collier. bucket would be huge here. Collier almost lost the handle. Samuelson picks up the loose ball and takes it to the basket for two. It looked like it was going to be turnover number 19 for UConn, but Katie Lou Samuelson saves the day. What great help defense, too, for Madison Wells to step in and stop Collier's drive. Still an opportunity here for Tulane. They throw it up at the buzzer. It's off the mark, and Connecticut survives in New Orleans.
A sigh of relief. A lot of mutual respect amongst these coaching staffs. Gina Oriema with an extra message <laughs> for the senior, Leslie Vorpal. What a game here at Tulane tonight. Connecticut survives, I think, is the word that comes to mind. 63-60. They have won 101 in a row. 